Hello, hello, dear viewers, friends, and all of that. Uh, this is TBT here, and it is time, everybody. It is time to delve into my favorite map in this entire game, and that is Aberration. I mean, sometimes it fluctuates between Aberration and Fjorder, but it's going to be Aberration for a hot minute because Fjorder doesn't exist yet, so far as I know. Mm. Mm. And I won't lie to you, uh, I actually did record some footage yesterday. Uh, of me playing the game right after it was well not right after but a couple hours after it was released because I was playing a different game uh, with a buddy of mine and you know I didn't want to like uh, cut into that you know how it is uh, when you're gaming with the boys you're gaming with the boys that's 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 what's up but uh, with that being said I'm just gonna hit this button um, but before I do so uh, there's a bunch of mods that I've installed for this for this particular map um, there's also some things I want to talk about regarding some of the Steam reviews that are equal parts, you know, kind of serious and hilarious. Uh, and, um, yeah, and the general objective is get situated. Uh, so sit back, enjoy the ride, and prepare for opening cutscenes! I mean, right after we upload my character. Here we are. Tannis Mark II. Let's just get to it. Before I click this, if you find yourself enjoying this video, do me a solid. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Uh, interact with the video in ways that please the algorithm gods and spread it across the platform. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Um, alrighty. Are we gonna do the... If you see my idiot's guide to aberration, and you know that spawning in the portal is the dumb thing to do. Which is exactly why we're going to do it. <laughs> Also, real quick, as I said, part of the problem here is that... Actually, I don't even know if we're going to get the cutscenes, which kind of makes me sad. Uh, Alright, may maybe I'll... Uh, if they're not included when I click this, they'll be... Uh, I'll splice them in from the previous footage. And just a quick story on that. Uh, I recorded it. I just wasn't happy with it. So I went to the trouble of going into my game files and basically uh, resetting my character profile back to before it was downloaded. Plus, um... Uh, all that other stuff. So, yeah, reset my character profile and then erased my single-player save data on Aberration so that it wouldn't still be there. And I'd like to do this with a fresh start. And, uh, you know, you know, there's something to be said for just playing off the cuff, but last night I was not in a good place mentally and it was all over the place. So, see if we can get a bit more conjoined material and get a bit more done. So. You've come so far, Survivor. This place was once a vibrant ark, filled with wondrous creatures, before it was contaminated and compromised beyond repair. Long ago, Helena confronted her fellow explorer Rockwell here, when his obsession twisted him beyond humanity and reason. Even Helena could not truly put an end to Rockwell's madness. And he survived here in the shadows all this time. Feeding on poison. And growing stronger. You have to finish what Helena started. If we are to save Earth, Rockwell must be stopped. If there's anything left of the person that Helena knew, Edmund would want to be stopped. Steal yourself, Survivor. For here, terrors await you. You mean as opposed to all of the other terrors that I've encountered up to this point? This one just has more tentacle hentai. Maybe it's a good thing. You drawing all the crazy mischief I got up to in the old days. 
Might help me remember things better. Next time some kid starts hanging around me like a bad smell, pestering me for my dumb tales. I'm just visiting with Honker here. Oh. Fine by me. But you did say you had a really scary story next. About the place where you met, <clears throat> you know, him. Hmm? Yeah, well, your old man's gonna come looking for me. He finds out I gave you bad dreams. Like he'd even notice how I feel. Well, no need for my name to even come up, is all I'm saying. Quit stalling. Oh. Okay, okay. <sighs> how about we call this one Journey to the Center of the Broken Ark? Mm. As long as it's the scary version. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. Things got weird and dark down there. Especially for poor Doc Rockwell. What did he do? That was so bad. The guy got a little too curious for his own good. Messed around with some mumbo jumbo he shouldn't have. He wouldn't listen to anyone that tried to warn him, neither. Well, I'm listening to you, and I want to know all about it. Future, future, uh, boss there? Hmm? Too curious for your own good? Ugh. Okay. Ah, oh, we're here at last. Um, I'll, I'll go into more detail as to why I, I ended up dispatching with that footage. Well, I haven't dispatched with it yet, but I probably will. Um, and it's just sort of because you can see my inventory here. Uh, it still has items from Scorched Earth. <laughs> I, I forgot that they just get transferred, and I didn't want to play like that, so we're just going to move this here. I don't mind stuff like this. You know, this is fine. Maybe, maybe we get rid of these, but whatever. Crystal is honestly such a plentiful resource here on Aberration, or at least it was. That it, uh, I am not really worried about that. I would basically be able to recoup my loss on that one, no problem. Um, oh, God, this is going to hurt. Ow. Oh, it, it did not. Okay. But yes, welcome to the Aberrant Ark. Uh, what are you swinging at there? You are swinging at that raptor. Please kill it. Oh my god, it's Aberration with babies. Oh, the hell? Oh dear. Free hide, let's go. Does it have something? In oh, it does. See, stuff like this is fair game. I also have uh, already off to off to a good start with some bold dogs. I can't wait to see what the rest of this map looks like. And I gotta say, there's some buggy lighting here, but overall, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Um, a little bit, uh, but I'm I'm not that worried about it because, um, as I understand it, oh, uh, sir, oh my, um, what's uh? What's going on in this neck of the woods? Yeah, there's some lighting. There's some little bu there's some bugs abound, but you know, uh, as I understand it, um, Wildcard is actually working on something about that, so I'm a little bit less bothered by it than I might be. And overall, it still looks pretty good. You got to remember something. Uh, in the old game, they use they used like the normal lighting. But what happened here in the lore was that the atmosphere for the, um, like, the simulated atmosphere in the world for Ark, uh, for, um, Aberration was basically almost completely destroyed. There was a thin layer of stuff left behind, but nothing substantial. Man, these graphics aren't fully loading in the way I want them to, but that's okay. It still looks pretty good, I will say. Um, maybe, maybe there's some settings I can tweak. But that'll be for after the episode. Um, yes, we can mess around with this at, uh, at our leisure. We're not going to do that right now. We have 
priorities. Number one, uh, make appropriate gear. I'm also gonna let myself keep my canteen. You know, I, I think that's a fair, a fair one. I can understand if people have problems with it. It's like, oh, you shouldn't keep any of your gear. It's like, eh, I mean, I'm just going to make it again <laughs> at some point. If I was going to keep any single piece of gear, it would absolutely be the canteen. I'm also not 100% sure that the lighting, that it that it's that the graphics look bad as much as they are. Okay, we'll get to this later. This is part of the mods that I installed. Um... Yeah, I'm also not, uh, oh. Okay, these mushrooms are safe. It's the ones that aren't that concern me. Yeah, some of this hasn't loaded in, but, you know, some of it has. It's also just kind of supposed to be, like, leaf litter and stuff, but I wonder if it's caused by the lighting. But as I was saying, because of that atmosphere was largely destroyed, what that means for this place is that that light should be incredibly bright. Because it's basically raw, untapped sunlight. Although, also, if we're going to get into realism here, uh, all of us should be dead. <laughs> like, unless that little bit of atmosphere is keeping out all that solar radiation, all of this thing, everything in here should be like, should have been like, ah! Yeah. But Portal, maybe we'll get to see why it's it's normally not a good place to spawn. Maybe. You can get gems from that, although they're pretty rare, by the way. But yes, uh, as to getting back to it, Wildcard has stated that they're working on a performance patch to really help out with that, help out with some of these issues, and I'm like, man, so it's about damn time. Uh, don't know why you couldn't have done this um, a hot minute ago, but you know, better, better late than never. Oh, I need thatch. Come on. So, like I said, our core objectives here are to get to a place where we can chill. Okay, we got enough thatch. We're going to make this. <clears throat> mm. And then we'll get situated. Uh, I'm not expecting this to be a long episode, necessarily. I mean, we'll see. Um, it really depends on everything that goes on. But one thing I want to say they nail... Okay, now things are kind of loading in a little bit more. Um, one thing I want to say they've already nailed is... Good lord, did they make the did they make this look a lot more like it's wet. That's one of the biggest issues that I've had with the original is it doesn't look wet, and it's supposed to be this just, like, internal jungle contained inside the caves here. Okay, can I please tame thou? No. Okay, I can't interact with them at all for some reason. But yeah, look at all this. This is crazy. Okay, what do we got? Oh, a moss shop should be very good. Cooked prime meat. Well, I don't have any. Okay, what about you? Okay, this is a very low-level bulldog, but it will serve me well for now. Um, uh, just take a moment here while I'm trying to tame this thing, and we'll talk about some stuff that I wanted to talk about here. Uh, firstly... God, I've missed this place. It's so, it's so alien. The glowing creatures really do it for me. Save game in case of a crash. Just gonna harvest some fiber here. But yeah, what I wanted to talk about was... Uh, well, there's a couple things. Firstly, uh, some of the... Some of the Steam reviews that I read... Well, some of them were placed... Be Whoa! Before the game itself actually was, like, you know, Wild, Wild Card has a track record. Let's be real. Let's be dead honest and address that. Wild Card has a track record of putting things out and then they're late. They did get delayed. 
They get whatever, you know? It, it, all kinds of stuff happen. And far be it for me, I don't understand what goes on in the dev uh, behind the scenes, behind the curtain fully. Um, <clears throat> I would attribute a lot of some of the problems they've been having lately to snail games more than themselves. But, whatever. But, and I don't, I really don't want to bash people. But man, some of the reviews... Like, they're, without without going into too much detail, you can go on Steam and check them out for yourself. Some of them are just bloody toxic. It's like, man, people just have no patience. <laughs> like, they have no patience, and it's just like... Or or they, they, they... The game crashes, they can't load into a server, and I'm sitting here going, I can understand the, the problem here. I really can't. And I can understand why it makes you upset. And that's totally, totally fair. But what we have to address here is that that's not really a... Yeah, we're going to tame this guy and I'm going to cry. I'm going to pod him. Um, what we're going to talk about is... You know... That's not a review of the DLC. If your comment is, well... You know, it, it crashes on... Well, okay, that kind of is. But some of the people going, oh, well, wild card is, you know, screwing up again and all that. Well, they can't... The, the, the download button doesn't even work. And it's like, you gotta you gotta stay up on it. You gotta check their Discord and their Twitter uh, or their X, as it's called. You know, and I, I hate to be that guy. I really do. But that is important. And it's like, if you want to get up more up-to-date information, and some people were just, you know... Man, this is definitely going to include some hot takes, because I know a lot of people are very angry about it. And it's just like, look, should you forgive a developer for screwing up? No. No. But, just like, here here it is, at last. Does it work 100%? No, but it do look good. It do look good. People were commenting that the graphics look off. I don't think it's the graphics. I think it's the lighting, and that's either a, a fix on our end with our settings or something they have to do, and hopefully they're working on it. I'd also like to point out that Aberration was around the time where Ark Survival Evolved actually got kind of a kind of a patch there. What the? Kind of uh, got a patch a little bit, and it started to run better for a lot of people. But I personally never had issues with it because I built a PC specifically for it. So, here we go. Save game because sometimes it crashes when these when I when I get these. Um, really? By the way, always be thankful for your parasaurs when they're in the area. They will save you a lot of grief. Especially when you're getting attacked by raptors. Okay, I gotta be careful because there's at least one raptor there that's not accounted for. Slip by him. But yeah, that was my whole spiel. It's like, I get it. This this has some problems. The lighting's a little weird, although I think the brightness is perfectly warranted, by the way. Um, like, the weird brightness, that makes sense. Like, look at it from all the way over here. Looks great. Oh, God. Man. And of course, you know, it ain't arc unless the creature gravitates right towards you as it's running away from its danger. You know, because that's how that works. Right? Oh, come on. Burn in hell, you little bastards. But yeah, that right there is why I refuse to use my gun. Because then that doesn't happen. And as annoying as it is, it's part of the game, man. Oh, come on. I literally just spawned next to another one. 
I also forgot that with Tannis Mark II, I really screwed... I, I didn't give her the movement speed that I think Tannis Mark I had. Um, which was a mistake, because I should be able to outrun these guys no problem at all. But that is not the case. <laughs> oh, because of course he was. I will say, bold dogs have a fair amount of HP. They can take a pun they can take some punishment. I believe they are, in fact, the tankiest out of the four light pets that you can find here on Ab. Ah, oh, that damn horse. Oh, hey, look, I can revive something at my Oasis Sore. <laughs> if I go back to Scorched anytime soon, which I do not plan to do. Okay, we need a reusable spear, and we need it now. Okay, it's a little framey. A little framey, but it's not terrible. Oh. <sighs> There we go. Okay, we're gonna go check out up here. And I think we're gonna start trying to head down. Yep, there we go. I'm dehydrated. Eat some of that. Um, hmm. But yeah, portal is is not the is not the play, by the way, if you're trying to actually have an easy time, or at least it wasn't. Uh normally Oh, oh, whoa! Alrighty, and that was our first crash, but that right there is why you save well and often if you're in single player. Because then your then your problem is solved. I'm also gathering these up just to have them avail have like resources and materials available. I really should be gathering more wood, but I need to watch my weight. <laughs> you know, can't carry too much wood and stone. Gotta keep the girlish figure intact. Just FYI, I always do feel the need to explain it, but I am, in fact, a guy in real life. <laughs> I do often play as female characters, though, or I make a female custom character. But god damn, look at that. Thumbnail, question mark? Hmm. Potentially. Potentially. Might, uh, might have to do it from the other way, but we'll see. Also, you might have noticed in my inventory that I am indeed... Carrying, a, uh, like I said, I'm carrying some stuff from Scorched Earth, including this gun and this thing. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, um, that wasn't on purpose. But let's just say, hold up, did I have an element with me? No, okay, good. Because that I would have thrown out immediately. <laughs> I don't think it, tra it doesn't transfer, that's right. Um... But what happened was, uh, I always do this, by the way, when uh, when there's a boss fight, is when I go get my thumbnail, I will face the boss a second time normally, unless I have a really good shot of it while I'm doing that. Save again, in case of a crash here. I fear that even with the unwitting aid of Miss Walker, I still cannot completely control the machines in the Starlit Sanctuary. I believe they sent us to the correct Ark, but I was unable to control precisely where we arrived on it. Alas, that means the location I saw in the Sanctuary is beyond my reach for the time being, along with the molten Edmundium I saw there. Confound it all. Naturally, I cannot confirm that molten substance was indeed Edmundium until I have inspected it with my own eyes, but it simply must be. Sorry about that. I had to uh, pause the recording because my mom told me, uh, hey, could you come get the cat? He's, uh, you know, it's very hot, and um, unfortunately my house is not uh, air-conditioned. I mean, we have, poor, like, semi-portable AC in the room, in various rooms, but, you know, as a, as a general thing, no. Uh, oh! What the hell did I just... Oh, it's a Lystro. Okay. 
Okay, we have uh, we have Pulmona Scorpius up there. We have water below us, I believe. Part of me is thinking, hmm, do we just go for broke and jump in the water? Now, normally in Aberration, and in, in, indeed any map, jumping in the water when you're at the start of the game is not a good idea. But hey, uh, nothing ventured, nothing gained, as long as I actually hit the water. Oh god, this is gonna suck. See, this is, uh... <laughs> See, you don't do the smart thing when you're recording content, because if you did, then, um, you know, it wouldn't be nearly as entertaining. Well, I guess it might be, but, you know. Okay, so I'm actually headed for this rock here. You can see it's a little bit, like, the graphics are just a little bit blurry. Um, not quite as crisp and clear, but still good. Now, yeah, see, some of this hasn't loaded in fully, so, oh, god damn it. Stupid bee. Another one. Okay. Yeah, they don't like fire very much. Just want to come get a drink. Damn. Yeah, see, these rocks should be a bit more crisp. Now, maybe there's settings I can alter, but again, that's for after this recording. Oh, they just went that way. God damn it. Well, I need to go that way. Screw you, man. Ugh. I will say one thing I do like here is that they've nailed the, um, the water. Like, when you go underwater, oh, that, yeah, that's about, like, a, what a dark but still clear lake might look like. As in, you can't, it's clear, but you can't see a damn thing. I got some Ovis there. Yeah, I will play with my settings and see what we can change. Although, just to clue you guys in, in the coming months, I might be able to do one more upgrade again. But we will have to see. Uh, what the hell is going on? Why is that man running away? Uh, Bola. Do I have Bola unlocked? Gotta remember, I had to undo... I had to, like, go back and get a lot of my engrams over again, so... Yeah, but having a reusable Bola is gonna be very useful. Now, if we were so inclined... Oh, yep, that's what I thought. Raptors everywhere. Yeah, this is Ab, all right. Welcome to Aberration. <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, this is, this is definitely odd lighting, but I guess it's also worth noting that it's nighttime. Okay, it's a little bit framey. We're gonna save the game. You bastard! Go away! Oh, God, why? <laughs> I guess they're doing the same thing that I'm doing, which is, oh, there's trouble? Lure it to the guy that's gonna get killed immediately. <laughs> yeah, I will I will mess around with some of these settings, see if we can't improve them a little bit. But I am hoping to get a hardware upgrade going that should finally fix most of these problems. Maybe not all, but most. You know? I did what I could with the budget I had, but um, just uh, that might be changing in the future. And if it does, oh man. 
Oh, that's a big boy. That is a big man right there. It is also very low level, and... Uh, also, can I just say, ASA, you did the Spino so dirty. You really did. I don't like it. I, I see that. Look at how they massacred my boy. Okay, we're going to proceed a little bit further down here because I don't want to build next to it. But I also need to keep a weather eye out for the terrestrial top predator in the green zone. Which one is that? No, it's not the basilisk. I mean, it kind of is actually the basilisk, but it's not really the basilisk. Okay, the raptors are just going nuts. But yeah, you see what I mean? It's nighttime, but there's still like that lighting gradient. I actually think that's somewhat realistic. Also, there are light sources everywhere that would be giving off light like this. So it'd be kind of looking just freaky. So one of the reviews I said, oh, the game is too dark. Well, turn up your brightness, buddy. Also, um, just throwing this out. Just throwing this out there, but uh, brilliant idea. Don't know that you're ready for this, but um, yeah, turn up your brightness. <laughs> and again, I, I don't want to bash on people. I really don't. But I, I have to say, it. like some of the things that I read just make me cringe. It's like, are you... Seriously, dude? <laughs> it's not that the complaints are, aren't understandable. It's just that the level of crash-out that some people are having is just obscene. It's like, have a little patience. going to gather up some fungal wood and hopefully we can get to building but yeah today was about finding a good spot i believe i found some i found said good spot which is famous last words i'm absolutely going to be mauled by something here in a second but rare mushroom hey guess what i have some of them what level are you sir excuse me oh no what the hell what are you running from? Oh, did you get startled by me? Why? Oh, goody. Oh, yay. Raptors. See, I have uh, PTSD when it comes to these little bastards on this map. Because they're... At least they were. I don't think they are now, but they were... Back in the day, they were able to pin you. Uh, they were able to knock you off your mount and stun you immediately, and it just, it was not a good time. Save game here again. Okay, yeah, sometimes it runs just fine. Like, oh, man. But yeah, settings are something I'm going to play with off camera, see if we can't get it. I really love the look of, like, the, the fungal, the fungal wood. In the old game, you didn't have the veins on it. And I think having the veins on it gives it just a little bit more life. And it does make me wonder, wait, is that fungus corrupted by element? Like... Hmm... Oh my god. Parasaur! Travel mount, buddy. Here, let me harvest your mother for uh, for for hide here. Waste not, you know. Where is my little buddy?
There he is. There you go, have that. And don't worry, this time I plan to explore as much as I can with the um, Bob's Tall Tales stuff. Okay, we're just quickly gonna build up this struct, build up this here, and then we're gonna call it an episode. Oh! How do I get you? It's a little Cosmo. It's like in the trailer. I've been definitely looking to get me one of these. But, but how? <laughs> Doesn't look like, is, is it a knockout? Like, how do I tame it? Huh. I'd like to get a better one, although I'm not sure how much it matters. Ooh, you had an inventory. Give me. to get more thatch, damn it. I mean, one would think if you're going for thatch structures. By the way, this episode will be a bit of a longer one, but hopefully not that much longer. really is my worst enemy at least to start yeah forget the ravagers that i haven't even encountered yet right uh, are my shoes broken or did i just not put them on i just didn't put them on You're kidding me. Okay. I was like, lies. There is no way. Ain't no way that's not enough. I really do need to find that, uh... That guy, that moth shops, is very low level, but it's still still makes it's still a valuable early game tame. Okay, you want something? Oop, oh, that's Charlie. Okay, we got a 25% imprint off of that. All right, I'm gonna go get Charlie taken care of and I'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Um, hmm. And uh, what did I, what was I missing here? Uh, yeah. Aw, oh, curses. <laughs> Needed one more, damn it. I will say this is already off to a much better start than my last uh than my last one was. Uh so I'm actually kinda glad we uh, we did that. Ooh, this is turning into a very pretty raptor. Definitely not the strongest one, but it'll do. Oh, gimme the wood. Still some of the same glitches and problems, but, you know, we're vibing. Oh! 
Very nice. So you know you can get, like, guns and stuff from that, too. Like, yeah, I've gotten some crazy things and drops. I think in my last playthrough, I actually got, like, a... What is it? A purple, a purple pistol or something like that? I don't know. I've gotten it in one playthrough. Or not in a... Well, like... A playthrough on YouTube is what I mean. I'm not sure 100% if I've done that in, um... Uh, now there's only one thing we need, and it's a door. Which I can't make yet. Yeah, by the way, this bola is these bolas are gonna be saving my neck from quite a few nasties out there. So Ah, but yes, this is the typical setup that I usually go for on a map is we get a, we get the four, we get the typical uh, two by two up, you know, two by two shack. Just get ourselves situated and then we call it a day. Now, as to what I'm going to do with everything else that's here, uh, good, uh, yeah, good, I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're figuring that out. We'll be figuring that out. Uh, and by that, by everything else, I mean my scorched earth stuff. So... Now, as to what happens next episode, uh, good, very good question. Uh, I guess we'll have to figure that out. Hmm. My guess is it's going to be trying to get situated and getting some good early game tames going. Uh, we already have the raptor, but I don't think I have the, enough, have the, uh, the stuff to make a saddle for it yet, so we need to worry about that. God, this is a pretty one, which of course means it's probably going to die horribly, but, you know. Oh, Pariser. Such an amazing creature you are in real life, but you need a TLC here so badly. Oh, hey, we got a roll rat. What level is that? It is level 35. Horrendous. Ooh, I like that this is like that one, what is it, Australian tree or African tree that has the little knobs on it? That's what this is. That's cool. I like that. I don't know why I just did that, but we did. Oh, it, it feels genuinely good to be back. Okay, you want another walk? Let's give you another walk, and then I think we're just going to call it an... Oh, I know why, so I can make a box. Yep, now 50% imprint, which um, on a level 70 ain't going to matter much, but it'll, it'll mean something. Whoa! What the? I'm amazed we didn't see a single basilisk in the... What are you doing? What are you doing? Hehehe. <laughs> Yeah, kind of this coppery bronze raptor. I love it. I really love it. It looks good. By the way, as to our mod list, uh, I will be putting out a mod list once I've kind of revealed all the mods and will be adding to it perhaps as time goes on. There's a couple I just didn't feel were ready yet. Um, so we'll be looking into that going forward. Um, but yeah. Um, ooh. Man, them shadows. Oh, <sighs> alrighty. I think we're gonna save the game there, and um, we're gonna go make some boxes. Put away my, put away my stoof. Ooh, I need to. Whoa! It's just annoying that the boxes. Oh, hold up. Ah, son of a monkey. Hold up, yeah, we're gonna make an OCD vault here, as well as, uh, yeah, so we're not quite done just yet. I'm gonna get some wood and thatch. Watch me die horribly to a rock. It, it, sir? Sir? Oop. Ooh. 
Charlie just tried to jump onto my desk and uh, hit the and ran into the mic because he didn't see it, which is unfortunate. But otherwise, he would have been able to make it. So I will. I will uh, you you okay there, buddy? Yeah, he's fine. He's he's embarrassed, but he's fine. <laughs> Aw. I love that cat to death. There we go. All right. I think that's... Yeah, that should do it. And it does. Excellent. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> it's like a little... A little, a little buddy. Well, not a little buddy, but... Oh, my raptor just got fully grown. Beautiful. Okay, we're actually not going to use this for... We're going to use this for resources and stuff. Uh, yeah. That. That. Um, this one's going to be for tools and ammo and things. Uh, maybe all my clothes and stuff this. Oh, alrighty, and I think that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, do me a solid. Hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all of those things that please the algorithm gods and spread this video around the platform. It really does help me out, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Uh, it really does mean a lot, and it means a lot to be back on my favorite map again. Um, and with a pretty good head start. So, um, yeah, I look forward to seeing where this adventure takes us, and I'll catch you lovely people on the next exciting episode of Ark Survival Ascended here on Aberration. Oh! Oh my! This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them! A little Phantom, Men Phantom Menace reference there. Alrighty. See ya!